based on huh I don't want to say expertise based on expertise of being subjected to the heaviest MK Ultra torture in the history of MK Ultra and uh, surviving one going through different locations worldwide I would rate British Royals as one of the most violent next to Russians if not even the most violent I don't know uh, in in this entire process you know, the violence was just uh, overly now I'm talking about electroconvulsive I'm not talking about also only about the stuff that was done to me in Britain I am referring also to electroconvulsive so-called electroconvulsive so-called therapy ECT that's when they burn your brain with electroshocks uh, I think it's important for me to declare it's a lot of these people that have been subjected to this type of practice if any at all don't even did not even have ability or knowledge how the process that is being used to clear brain after MK ultra sessions um, a rhythm or I should say a frequency of ECT being used on somebody who is subjected to torture under MK Ultra, I would have that special ability to eventually even rate through particular uh, incidents or a uh, torture sessions uh, on just how much of ECT afterwards was used to brain kill me as much as possible, brain kill my my memories on people and on so on on surroundings and so on maybe the most notable is to I just exposed the case about these people who they got them job on the West and I don't know maybe in this Auckland or whatever it might be uh, you know the day when they moved officially from from China uh, one thing I have to tell you that around British Royals is just it wasn't secretive it was really really uh, they really 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 have hidden a lot of stuff that so with idea to screw me up I realized that it was extremely extremely dirty play but even more so it's interesting to me how in their surroundings and whenever they got involved very closely with the people with um you know it just somehow happened so that um i had an ability to rate the the session itself based on importance based on uh, interest I should say interest in particular incidents that took place in MK Ultra and I come to notice that whenever these people were involved that I would get really really interesting during MK Ultra a session where it would be really really of great interest to me very very interesting um, impossible I would rate even uh, I could make a mistake under MK Ultra. Even this is interesting about this family, about this Auckland. Even that British Royal invested effort to confuse me. Lie. You know, I detected it during MK Ultra. Uh, you could not fool me. That's how powerful uh, interest I have expressed in certain issues in, the, in, in that particular case. Right? But then again, I realized. 
when I zoom myself out of those out of those sessions, then I also go and I rate the capacity to basically to penetrate into this memory, in this memory of MK Ultra session about mm, the my ability itself, or I should say the ease to recall the events. You know, the ability to recall events based on which then I also get a complete, complete, complete detail on just how much ECT, how much electroshocks they have implied to break my brain, basically, so that I would not recall, if anything at all. Yeah, I also get that kind of ability. I have also developed that kind of ability so that I could rate, basically, the people that were involved in it in their surroundings, not the people that were involved in it, but surroundings in which the people, if they were um, in, in particular surroundings that are of my interest, of the certain politicians, for me to get a complete background, to do a complete background or a personality of an individual. Yes, I also exercise that kind of stuff. Um, maybe the most interesting is a fact which I already have exposed in the past. There were three, at least three, um, drugs, MK Ultra drugs that were used, you know, uh, throughout this MK Ultra process. And one of the drugs, uh, it was like a hard, hard, hard drug. At the beginning, in 95, they had two kind of drugs. One was like extremely, extremely, extremely hard that drug was so hard that it felt like when they implied one on me um it actually felt like i'm not gonna say brain squirming uh but i'm gonna say like if you would take a piece of metal and and you would just go against the metal uh basically it felt like as if you would be moving head and everything would be just inside i mean in that sense i mean extremely pain even painful stuff that you would be subjected to under mk ultra dark complete you would be completely losing yourself within moments unless somebody would be triggering attention uh from you it would be like used to basically demand your mental presence for you not to just cut you know just whew, picture to get lost and in dark disappear until some you know like the state of mind basically when you're frozen in time literally unless somebody uh stimulates you for you to get enough to senses so that they must they demonstrate a certain issue this is how they transferred me from one location that was Hawaii and all those exotic locations. It was not a joy. They posed next to me and they have given a totally, totally false impressions about what went on. In between, it was a butchery. Severe sleep. This shit was exercised through severe sleep deprivation. It's like on a long run, trying to kill your cardiovascular health next to... Um, uh, mental issues and so on and so the other drug was drug that it was as american politicians rated and somebody like myself extremely extremely dangerous because it would not consume destroy me enough mentally meaning that it was a light drug under which based on my mental abilities they complained I had ability to somewhat even compete with the people that were not drugged up. And they came to the conclusion that it's very, very dangerous. Not because I would be dangerous. I never was danger to anybody under MK Ultra, But dangerous because I could recall too much. And, you know, it's exactly that kind of drug that tells you more than anything about how much ECT, electroconvulsive therapy in parenthesis therapy brain burning was actually used in you yeah, because with a hard drug the person have 
difficulty to recall stuff, yeah. But with a lighted drug, it's too dangerous because the person, once the person gets into start to investigate the street through the Google Maps and stuff like this, you start to see or you see people or people give you a clue, something you ask, it's uh, it, it becomes it becomes a way it, it would be like a Mickey Mouse basically to give crazy details. All the details that I pulled out with with incredible detail. With incredible detail, with detail that nobody possible in this world could possibly, regardless of how mathematical genius or how physical Einstein, whatever the, the case could be, uh, there's no fucking way you wouldn't produce even 10% of what I did because it involved also physical part. It involved the ability to bring, to force yourself down on certain events and foremost, the ability to connect the crime. And that's what actually produced, well, basically, whatever they have used to confuse, to give you the false information, because in every real scenario, they involve 10 other fake scenarios, lies. And now you have to go based on the first meeting of the people, first time seeing them on a picture, even, to pull the dots together that would fit enough sense and not what they have forced down throat at later stages and so on and you know so this british uh, royals i realized because in britain was used on few occasions when they created like a specially specially deep trauma which then they would involved through the mainstream media such as Madeleine McCain disappearance. They had me in that resort. When they implemented that type of crime, they have actually even used very, very, very light drug. Very, very light drug. Then what they would do is they would all a trauma that it was involved some truck in an accident on the bridge and stuff like this in Britain. They would, and then they blame it on you, that kind of stuff. It was always blamed on you, stuff like this. They have used enormous amount of violence. These are very, very violent people. Prince Andrew was known to be the prince of torture. Prince Andrew was known to be... Americans refer to one as a physical. And they refer to one as a physical because he was taking over even at torture sessions. Uh, he was the one who would go to Afghanistan. He was the one who would disappear and go on a missions where they would interrogate people. I cannot even imagine using fucking what. But I know that I wasn't next to everything that i realized about these people I, I was i was i was i was nothing for them other than to material to for waste basically i realized i've come to realize that these people hated me they hated me too much they used um they used enormous 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 um enormous effort if you like it's a very very polite way to say for for bestiality ect i'm referring to to brain breaking procedure that took afterwards sometimes they were doing this brain breaking procedures ECT on a daily basis and sometimes when the sessions were complete sometimes both i have no fucking idea these people don't give no answers they only continue to give clues but these clues are coming for a tremendous price of health, heart-related issues, cardio, uh, cardio stuff, and so on. This is not.
Well, I don't know. Just... Beasts, not even animals. I hide himself behind the issues such as uh, family and stuff like this. Whoa. Um, if you get these people on a picture, and if there's like a single thing you should know that is indicating something negative from their end, um, I I think it's it's it's, it's as good as as he gets for your sake and for your family's sake to come to the conclusion that that uh, most likely you're going to end up dead well if they if they were not capable with me uh to make peace with me there these people aren't willing to make peace with anybody in the world they were not they were not capable to drive with me through this crime uh, they are not capable to make peace. They are not capable to to go on with with absolutely anybody. But I posted a really good video about about how they um, how to use the mainstream media. What what that was all about, you know. There was no special relationship here. There was only a special relationship from my end. I was the one who We did a hell of a good job. I did a hell of a good job. I couldn't do better than that. I couldn't do better than what I did to testify about who these people were. When I even given them a chance, a hand. I think it was like really unbelievable 23 years 22 years i have no idea 2017 2018 2019 <clears throat> 2020 charles no, 2019 charles became panicking because of uh, proofs in poland i got because of i started to see what these people really were up to and it's when i directly attacked them Well, I did not attack them. I, I just defended myself from attacks. That's a stupid thing to say, attack them. They continue to exercise and, you know, you're talking about 24 years of MK Ultra down the road when I was unwilling to take it anymore. And still I was signaling them, stop it, don't fuck with me, make peace. I was clear about terms and they just they just they they just continue to go on they just continue to go on with their stuff which makes completely sense because of the amount of violence they invested uh, in crime they invested in this ordeal since nine, the beginning of the 1995 this is a 28 year that's how far we have gotten with this corruption of slovenian police literally through which they have extended themselves to slovenia and also of polish and slovak and czech police eastern europe is cheap it's cheap eastern europe is cheap and um that much about this Slavic brotherly relations and when it comes to Western Europe they don't really give a fuck about you you're just a nobody really you know, you're just as good as 
somebody who is willing to stick your head in the sand uh turn your turn back to yourself basically and disappear under given circumstances that's how it goes now this was recorded on january 12 2023 extremely extremely violent it, it, it became clear that the amount of ect you know clearing the brain from already very very memories that i obtained it wasn't memories it was torture it was one week it was two weeks without the sleep deprivation that's how it went it went from that one dot to the other sleep prohibited no rest basically i admire my cardiovascular issues uh, health which both mike tyson evander holyfield both have envied me we had discussions tremendous discussions about this everybody envied me the strength of the heart the cardiovascular health evander holyfield eventually uh complained about his issue he encountered in the world of boxing eh? and they couldn't they couldn't come up to conclusion how is it possible how was it possible for me to just carry on this brain killing cardiovascular killing uh killing literally and uh, all uh supported by the heavy ect you know call these sessions beatings torture death threats posing in this next to them in this fucking locations exotic locations where i was nowhere fucking present mentally nowhere present in between torture it and <sighs> i did it 28 years and it's worth it to witness about this stuff because it tells who these people what these people really are what they have in what the, what they have in plan i'm not going to say for humanity but for every one of you the most loyal to crown it starts right there <laughs>